do 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 how to create bowls designed with coils. The following steps will help you create your bowl of your dreams. Doesn't everyone dream of a good bowl? I suggest you start off with a piece of clay a little thicker than a deck of cards, but about the same size. You're then going to take the clay in two hands and twist it in half so it makes two pieces. You're going to take that clay and slowly roll it into, think of it as a thick burrito. You wanna get all the lumps and bumps out. Next comes creating the actual coil. Now you're going to use your entire hand when you're rolling out your coil. I want you to notice how you start with your fingertips and you move all the way over to the bottom of your hand and then bring it back. While you're rolling your clay, you want to make sure that you're applying pressure, even pressure, with both hands. Going slowly and making sure you're rolling all the way to your tips and all the way to the bottom of your hand. This will produce the desired effect that you're looking for. You want an even thickness coil and you want the coil to be slightly thicker than a pencil. The top coil is a great example of what I'm looking for. The bottom coil is a little too thick and it might crack. While you're rolling out the clay, a couple of challenges might happen. So let's go over those and figure out how to prevent them from happening and what to do if they do. There's gonna be a time when you're rolling out your clay and you're going to see that some areas are thinner than the other. It's a very common problem, and it's a really simple solution. You're going to pinch and break the clay apart at the thinnest point. Taking both your hands, start in the thickest area and roll it out. Another option is to put your hands on the areas that need to be thinned out and roll from your fingertips to the heel of your hand. By adding pressure only where you want it to be thinner, it should even out the coil. Something that plagues me when I roll out coils is that sometimes my coils turn flat. The easiest way to solve that problem is to twist each end, one going in one direction and one end going in the other direction, and then going back and rolling out the coil just as you've done before. Before you start creating your design, you should really think about all the different types of coil designs you can make. There's so many to choose from. The neat thing about coils is you can make some fantastic designs rather easily. I mean, the possibilities are endless, so have fun with it. I recommend trying out different types of coil as a practice first, and then starting the drawing and your design in your journals. Once you've solidified the design in your journal, you're ready to start building. Your first step is to grab a bowl and some paper towels. You want to cover the entire surface area of the inside of the bowl so your clay design will not stick. Next, you want to roll out between 5 and 10 coils that are ready to go. Then you're going to start building your design. I highly recommend starting from the bottom center up. Once your bowl is completely made, you want to begin to combine and blend the coils together by taking your index finger and your middle finger and slowly blending all of the clay pieces together. It's important to go slow and not press too hard so you don't make any holes. We're going to let it dry for over several days and then we're going to fire it. Voila, you're done. I'm going to be showing you some unique glazing techniques, so stay tuned.